Hello and welcome to this new series. In this series I want to look at QuickBooks Online, give you the best sort of information that you can get and make sure that you're using it correctly. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, on this episode, what I want to go through is the basic navigation. So we're going to keep it nice and straightforward, we're going to keep it nice and simple. Um, there's a lot to go through in terms of everything to do with QuickBooks. And at some point, I'm going to go through all the different aspects of it. And we're going to go through some of the nice little niche areas as well. But this one, I want to keep it dead straightforward. My name's Aaron Patrick. I'm one of the trainers at QuickBooks. As you can see up there, a certified trainer. Um, so hopefully with that, I can give you some insight into what to expect. In QuickBooks. Before you can get really in depth into QuickBooks and before you can start looking into everything that has to offer, it's best that you understand the basics. So that's what we're going to concentrate on today. First episode, just having a look generally at the basics and I'm going to give you a look at what's going on. So without further ado, let's have a look at it. Now, hopefully you can see what's on screen. As you can see, we've got the basic navigation. As soon as you get into QuickBooks, this is what you're presented with. Now there's one thing to remember, we're looking at it from the accountant's point of view. As a client, or when your client logs in, they're going to see it slightly different, but majority of what we see is going to be here. The bits that I want to bring up and, and go through today though, is going to be just general navigation. So when you first log in, you're presented with what we call the dashboard. Now the reason the dashboard is so helpful and so useful, is it's going to provide some information to your client without them actually going out their way to ask for it. So as we can see on screen, we're having a nice little breakdown of the expenses. Now this is demo data so there's not really much to kind of talk about or anything else but if I was to change this to say the last year or this uh, the last year that was, was gone through you'll see that it starts to make a bit more sense. There's a lot more data that's actually worthwhile for the client to see. Now the next thing that it's telling you is invoices. It's going to tell your client that there's something to, to do. So in this case, I've got £576 of overdue and I've got £50,000 of invoices that are still okay to be paid in within the terms. Now, only it's only a small amount there, 576, but it could be that it's, that's quite critical to my client. And if they ever need to investigate it any further, that's what this dashboard really helps with because it gives them the opportunity just to go in, have a click, and it will take them directly to where they need to go. So this is why I really like the way that this was that this has been laid out. It gives your clients that information at their fingertips. As soon as they see an issue, hopefully they take ownership of it, hopefully they go and investigate further, and then they can go and sort things out. I'm just gonna stay on the dashboard for a few more moments. You'll notice that it's giving me other information, like it's asking me, have I made sure I've set the system up? And we're gonna go through some of those settings in later episodes. I'm gonna make sure we've got everything all set up. Um, it's gonna tell me that there was any tasks. And as you can see here, as an example, it's telling me that we've tried to send an invoice out on here and it's failed. And it's really straightforward to fix because it's even given me an option to go view that error, look at that error and make sure I'm okay with it bit that it's going to be telling me then probably the most important bit is the bank account section over on the right hand side. What it's doing is you have the ability to connect live accounts directly to QuickBooks itself and it's going to bring that data directly in. What I really like here is the ability then for your clients to understand what their cash position is. They can see here that they are, you know, in, in this particular case that we've got £60,000 in here but our bank balance, our QuickBook balance aren't quite, aren't quite agreeing. One thing I wouldn't do is just stop at the bank accounts being connected. Now, connecting bank accounts is really straightforward, and we'll see that in a future episode on how we can connect them and what you know what's the best steps and everything else. But one thing I would say is not just to rely on just connecting bank accounts. Other things to be added as well, like the idea of putting directors' loan accounts on there, petty cash like we've got here. And I personally, for my clients, I don't just call it petty cash, but I'll go as far as saying red cash tin then they know what that relates to. They know that the, how much money should be in there at any point in time. And again, if there's anything wrong there, they can take ownership of it. 
The left hand side is our panel and on here we're going to go through these in, in quick succession just to see what, what, what's related there. But in the top right hand corner is the ability to look at what information we've got in relation to settings. Now one of the things that I really like about QuickBooks and one of the things that got me into QuickBooks in the first place is how much involvement and how much options and, and customization you'll find in the settings itself. Now the settings are really powerful in QuickBooks and that's one of the reasons why as my, when I progress through my career that's why I chose QuickBooks as the platform for me to, pr to promote and the platform for me to push forward because what you'll end up being able to do is be able to go into any of these different settings and depending on what client you've got you'll be able to go into the real essence of them and be able to find even niche clients you'll be able to, to customize and be able to make, make work with QuickBooks. Now as soon as you go into the settings button you're presented with all these options here. Again we're going to go in this more detail on a on a step by step in some of the later episodes but just bear in mind that if you are kind of looking at QuickBooks and you're not quite 100% sure what's going on or you think that doesn't seem quite right or you think then most of the time you jump into here, you jump into the fact that there's some module settings in there. You'll notice not, not only is the your company section where the settings are, we've got a list section. Now the list section is really for kind of when you start to get advanced user usability of QuickBooks. And that's when you can start saving a lot of time. You can start making sure that the data is correct for you. And I'll, I'll show you that in more detail when we get there, but it's an area that really you want to get your head around. You want to understand what these lists means and everything else, because what you'll find especially if it's your own data if it's your own company you really be able to get the opportunity to be able to fine-tune everything just there the tool section the tool section there is very very self-explanatory you got things like importing data now importing data in a system like this is crucial you probably don't want to be sat there having to type each and every transaction in so we'll explore that in more detail we'll find out exactly what sort of data you can put in there later down the line now the next bit along here is the notification bell. Notification bell is where we can find out if there's anything new in QuickBooks and every time they release something brand new they're going to show you there on that notification bell nice and straightforward. The next thing along is the search bar. The search bar itself is just like every other search bar in the world. If you put £100 in there you're going to be presented with the £100 transactions but also what you can find out from there is reports and you can go and see what your recent transactions. As you can see in this example here my last 10 recent transactions are all shown there and if I needed to go into any of those individual transactions I literally go in, click in there and I can edit accordingly. Help section. Now the help section in QuickBooks is actually quite significant, especially if you're showing your clients for the first time. What I tend to do is always show them that help section. I tell them how to kind of navigate it, maybe do a little example with them and everything else, because it's really straightforward. You search in the search bar, bring, comes up the question that you might need to answer. And then from there, you can go and make sure that you've got everything in place. One thing to note though, is if they can't answer the question from there, well, there's something else you need to question the contact us section is really useful it gives you the ability to go in there and start a live chat it gives you the ability to actually call someone from the uk the live chat ability is really useful as well it gives you the ability to actually talk to someone actually see them on screen in certain circumstances and it means that you can make sure that you're actually talking to the right person and they're going to sort your information out for you as accountants, we get a, a, our own tool as well. We call that Accountants Toolbox. Now, the Accountants Tool gives you some functionality that your clients do not get. And when it comes to kind of looking at cleaning up data and making sure the data is absolutely right to go into, say, accounts production software or whatever it needs to be, you're going to find that really, really useful. Then we're going to be looking at that in a lot more detail later down the, the line. But some of the options in there, some of the reclassification tools, for example, is going to make your life easier and going to make your um, going to give you the opportunity to give more options to the client and be able to clean up the data and they're going to make more sense of the data of that. As accountants we also have the ability to switch between clients as well that's what's at the top up there and then we have what's called our hamburger button it's really straightforward in terms of what it does basically it makes the screen bigger smaller so if you've got a smaller laptop for example and you're going around on like a tablet or something like that that's going to give you more real estate make sure you can see more information it's going to make life easier. 
On the left hand panel then, we have all these options. So the first of all is the create bot button. You may remember the create button itself being over in this right hand corner, but now it's been moved over to the left. The create button works really well. Basically anywhere within QuickBooks, wherever you are, you have the ability to press that button and give you the option to actually go and create something new. Maybe it's an invoice, maybe it's a journal, whatever that needs to be press the create button and off you go. Then as we start from the top, the overview screen is basically just for you as accountants. This is gonna give you the ability to be able to see what's going on. I really like the client overview. It's been one of the best uh, additions to QuickBooks in a long time. One of the things that's really useful about it is without going into too much detail, without having to go into any of the reports or anything, I can understand how healthy, if you like, my client's data is at any point in time. So I can see at this point that my uh, bank's been reconciled up until December 2019. So if I was doing a December year end, I'm probably comfortable in terms of being able to do a set of accounts for these. But at the same time though, I might be a little bit concerned that the credit card's never been reconciled or the savings have never been reconciled. So it probably something that I'd wanna look at doing first before I went on and did a set of accounts. It also gives you some indication of some common issues. So here we're looking at the fact that we've got one item that's uncategorized and that's that to me definitely indicates that something's not quite gone right. It also tells me if there's anything that's been undeposited or under, un, uncategorized and it gives me an ability to have a look and make sure that there's anything wrong and it also makes it really easy for me to fix things from the screen as well. Transaction volume just gives me an indication of how much information is in that client's folder. As you can see in this one, in this bin, just dummy data, there's not much data in there. So for, for, the, for me, I know that there's not much data for me to look at. I know that if I've kind of just had to quote them, for example, for a, a cleanup job or something like that, this is the place where I'd go to to just understand how much data is involved. And just brand new to QuickBooks is the business performance area as well. The idea of this, again, it's just for you as accountants, but it gives you loads of key metrics, gives you loads of key information, and it's gonna give you the opportunity to have a look at things and make sure you're happy with them as you go along, but then also you get to export them, pass them to your client, and hopefully give yourself the ability to see more information for your client. So dashboard, as I spoke about before, is where you you go to when you first log in. We've got the banking section, that's where we get to interact with our bank account, and also our brand new feature in QuickBooks, which is receipts as well. So this is the ability which we'll, we'll definitely have a look at later down the line, where you can take a photo of it on your phone, and it's gonna extract that information for you and take that directly into QuickBooks for you. Then we've got the expenses section, basically where your suppliers and where you look at money out. Sales is your customers and money in. Projects is a relatively new part for QuickBooks and it gives us the ability to start running uh, projects within QuickBooks so that we can make sure for our bigger clients or for a client that's quite cost sensitive um, that that particular project is actually running profitable. And we can assign expenses and we can put, assign income against it and we can make sure that we've got nice profit margins going forward. Again, full. I'll do a full uh, look at that later down the line. The whole payroll solution built directly into QuickBooks. There's actually two versions. There's the simple version and the advanced version. What we'll look at is kind of mainly concentrate on the advanced version, but I will have a look at the simple version, especially with the fact that announced today was all the new announcements. We've got a report section, nice and straightforward. It's where all your reports are hidden. But one thing you'll find with QuickBooks is there's quite a lot of reports in there. One of the things that is really going to be useful to you is understanding how to customize the reports, how to record those reports back, and also how to find reports as we go along. Um, also included in there is the management reports. We'll see that in more detail, but that is something to get your head around when it comes to it. Taxes is where VAT is hidden, and also CIS, if you turn on the CIS modules within QuickBooks itself. Obviously, it's MTD compatible, um, so we're making sure that making tax digital is all up and ready to go. Um, and as you can see, it's popping up on the screen now. One of the new features is what we call Smart Scan. Now, what Smart Scan is designed to do is just go through that return before it's submitted and make sure we've got everything in there that we expect to be in there. Mileage, relatively new addition to QuickBooks, but effectively using really clever tech on your mobile phone, it gives you the ability to be able to record mileage without you having to struggle or having to kind of do anything extra or run any extra apps or anything like that. Again, we'll look at it in a lot more detail, but it is something that is worthwhile um, to get your clients involved in. Accountants, where your chart of accounts and reconciliation options are, 
And then the My Accountant section at the very bottom gives you an ability to be able to talk to your clients and be able to pass information to and from. So there's a request data option and also there's an option to share data as well. Brilliant. Well, that's it. That's a quick rundown of what we've got in QuickBooks at the moment. Um, obviously, this is the first in the series. When we go to one of the later episodes later down the line to so the next one, we're going to look in a lot more detail in that particular area. The day, the thing that I think is best to look at first and what your, your client is probably most interested in is money in. So we're going to have a look at how do you raise your first invoice, what to look out for and some tips and tricks along the line. Brilliant. Catch you next time. Thanks. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you, and I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. I can be a fighter, I can be a fighter. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's feeling new Even if we stay in bed, I'm hard to see, yeah, yeah